Hello, welcome to QD Pot and thank you for choosing QD Pot as your supplier of Korean Cosmetics Wholesale. Today we are going to talk in detail how to place a wholesale order on QD Pot. Um, and if you are familiar with a part of the process, you can fast forward the video to the next step. So when you will be ready to place a wholesale order or to check the wholesale prices, you will be landing on this page where you will only have access once you logged in into a wholesale account. Remember the retail account is not applicable. You can sign up a wholesale account or you can request us to change your retail account into a wholesale account and by then you will be able to access the prices. So first step is if you don't have an account, you just click sign up here. Remember to ch check wholesale account here rather than a retail account and under account type. Sign up an account is free and it doesn't take more than a minute. So once you have an account, you can click on login and sign into your account. So the moment you signed in, the price table will show up right here. Where on the top we have these buttons, which are uh, guidelines to different, uh, different uh, options like payment, shipping, order status, and so on. Right here we have a search bar, so where you can filter out the brand you are looking for. For example, if you're looking for Etude House, you can type in Etude and the brand Etude House will show up. Or we, here we have a sample for Etude. So in this way you can filter out the brand you are looking for because we handle a lot of brands, I think over 180 for now. So it's not easy to go by through the pagination to click next next to find the brand. You simply search in and then you get the brand you're looking for. So right here we have a brand name, uh, MOQ, which is a minimum order quantity, means the minimum amount uh, you must order that brand. Right here we have a supply rates for each brand, what will be the rate, and by different order sizes, for example, for $1.500, the rate is this one, for $1,000 is this, and so on. Right here we have a download, download button, where you can download the order sheet to place an order and here is the button to click to upload an order once your order sheet is ready. So for our example, we are going to place an order for Etude House. I search in right here in the search bar and I got, got Etude House here. I click download. So the moment I download, um, access sheet should open. So right here, is my Etude House order sheet just downloaded. So <clears throat> on the Etude House order sheet, um, on all order sheets, you are only required to fill in the yellow highlighted cells. So other cells you do not have access to edit. Only the yellow highlighted part you can edit. That's where you need to enter something. Although all other things you can check it, but you can't edit them. So on the left side here, you have the basic information like your name, your address, postal code, and so on and so forth. You can fill it up. Right here, we have a supply rates according to different order sizes. So if you order $300, you have to put 64% your rate. Once you change the rate here, so you will see the wholesale prices will change automatically. Once we enter, press enter, uh, the rates change. I mean, your wholesale price per item change. So remember to fix the rate according to your order size and you can see your order size here after you input your order and based on the total you can change your rate and remember the total here only mean the wholesale total not the retail total retail total is just for your reference you are not going to pay the retail total you will pay the total price wholesale price and the total here mean always means wholesale total so remember this point all right, so right here is the basic. You can see uh, serial number, the Korean name of the product, English name, capacity, and so on. Right here, we have a box quantity, which means that you must buy at least four pieces. This product comes in a box, and inside the box, they have four items, four pieces, I mean four products. You cannot order less than box quantity. You must always order according to the box quantity. For example, in this example, if the box quantity is four, that means you must order like 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and so on and so forth. So uh, right here, you will input number of boxes you want. Okay, so that the minimum number of box you can get is one box. So if you input one, you get number of pieces four, 
and the total based on the retail price of this item in this box total will be 44 and uh, total based on the wholesale price uh, is 28,000 Korean won all right so <clears throat> another question here is how to look for the products there are three different ways you can search a product Number one is all the products are sorted okay so you can scroll down to the, uh, the alphabet the product name start with and you can look for the product for example you're looking for a product we start with alphabet B B so we scroll down here so right now is a and right here we got B so if it's B A B C B D and so on and so forth so this is the way you can scroll up and down to find out the product you're looking for so the next thing you can do is press ctrl F or simply go up to here search workbook and type in the product name and the product will so show up and the third one is uh, maybe more easy but a bit time consuming is you click here on the filter button and write in the product name here so for example let's look for a product if you're looking for a product let's say 0 0.2 <clears throat> you know your product start with an alphabet 0 0.2 a number whatever so you type in 0. Point. the problem with this process is it's a bit slow especially when the excel sheet is a large size this process will be pretty much slow uh, so that's a bit of a negative side but the good thing is it makes things easier to input an order so once you type in 0. 0.2 also inputting is very slow the system response i mean the excel response very slow uh, but in case of a smaller order sheet it could be faster so once you input 0. 0.2 all the products with the word 0. 0.2 are already filtered up and you can input the number of boxes you want here uh, whatever so this is another way to go back you have to go click on the filter button again and select all products so to see all of them so once you click again you see it's going to browse now and going to take up take a bit of time so that's a negative side of this uh, this method but this is something you may may, may use in case others doesn't work uh, and another thing while this is browsing I would like to inform you that when you search in the product here you always should write exact name if your name does not match the name on order sheet the, the you will not be able to find the product so and if you do not know the full product name so try to type only the one word only which you know for example here if you're looking for 0 0.2 rather than try to write the full name we just write 0 0.2 and search so once you type in 0 0.2 and enter you see this product is selected so this is what we have you click next you will go to the next one see this one if you click again enter again it will go to the next and so on and so forth so that's how you could find the products so uh, right at the last column we have some remarks you need to remember for example there's a if item is discontinued mean the product is not being manufactured or sold by the brand anymore so then it's discontinued and you can't buy it anymore so you should also pay attention to uh, this column where it uh, might have a remarks regarding to the product so some products are only sold in a center certain certain countries for example only in Korea so we can't supply to overseas customers so then it might be here that only uh, in Korea or it could be only online some products the brand only sell on their online store so they are not available for offline sale so that they, they will be there could be a remarks here so that's another thing you should look at okay so uh, for example you just input uh, all the products you want okay so let's say we want these many items remember these are discontinued we cannot order so we have to take it down take take them down all right so here we go and then here we have a filter function you can filter out the products you order so just to double check what you have ordered the things looks more uh, simple and short so you can easily look out I mean you can review your order what you have uh, I mean what you have ordered all right so now you see your wholesale total is now above five hundred dollars so that means you have to change the rate and put the rate according to dollar five hundred so which is fifty nine percent so you can input right here fifty nine and your prices will change accordingly to see before your order was now again there is another thing you see now when you change the rate to 59 your total come below 
$500, which means you cannot get 59%. You will go back to 64. So to get this, you have to, to increase your order size. So we take two boxes of this one and change the rate to 59 and see if it stays above 500. Yeah, so now it's above 500. So you are eligible for the rate 59%. So you change the rate and your order sheet is ready. So for example, we just put here any address. Um, all right, so let's assume you filled all the order sheet. So you're going to save it. Oh, another thing here, right here. Um, this one is uh, uh, some kind of, I should say, a reference rate. It's not exactly the exact rate from Korean won to US dollar. The reason why we don't have exact rate because the rate change all the time. Uh, so we cannot update, so we just use a reference rate. So once you send us the order, uh, on your invoice, the total could be different because the rate might have changed. So remember, this rate is just for your reference, but it's very close to the actual one, but depends how the market moves, the rate could be different. All right, so another thing we want to talk about, I, I would like to explain here is, if you want to know the prices in your native currency, for example, your currency is, uh, uh, let's say, euro, uh, you want to know the prices, wholesale price of each item in euro, so what you need to do is you need to get the rate from Korean one to euro. So to do this, all you have to do is go to Google. All right, and type Korean one to EUR euro rate, and then copy these values. Only the numbers do not copy the text. All right because that's a formula and formula work only by numbers, not by text. So, I mean the uh, alphabets. So just copy these numbers, 0 0.000 and 77. All right, bring it back here to Excel, double click it. Don't just paste straight away, double click it. Input, paste the number here. I don't know why it doesn't work for me. Uh, anyway, I will input manually 0 0.007 double seven okay I uh, input zero point triple zero double seven all right so now you see the price is already calculated in euro so this is your prices in euro all right so in this way you can do for any other currency for example you want to do it for uh, let's say um, what to say maybe you can ring it all right so you just take the rate from here and Paste it here, press enter. You see the prices I paste without double click. Actually, the format has also been pasted, but anyway, we got what we needed. So the price is changed to Malaysian ringgit. So that's what you can do for any currency you want to do. So you can ch check the prices in your native currency um, by this way. All right, so um, we are done now with our order sheet. So all we need to do is save it and go back here. To a wholesale page click on upload uh, this pop-up window will come up uh, just click choose file and you can choose it for example the one I download a while ago is right here all right etude, uh, sorry all right it's H1 somewhere here anyway let's assume it this is the one so you can look for it once you click okay uh, then you need to enter your name all right okay and click upload and there we go it's upload done so your order is placed we will check back your order and we will get back to you after you've placed order we will get back to you within within an hour with your invoice and uh, payment instructions and then you can proceed so um this is pretty much that's it uh, I hope uh, it's quite helpful for you um, and in case you have further questions you can comment below in this video or you can contact us to reach us uh, anyway we have contact details everywhere on our website or you can click on help here and we pop up right here you can click us or right here we have a contact button you just click and reach us by any method you want to reach us by WhatsApp, Viber anyway whichever method you whichever app you're using or you're convenient with you can reach us anytime so um, this is it now I hope it's helpful and if you have any questions you can contact us anytime 
Thank you for watching and we look forward to have a business with you and it will be a pleasure to serve your order. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.